And we are at one of the view platforms at Cape Flattery. I don't think this is the farthest one west, but uh, there's a bay right down there that is just absolutely gorgeous. Well, here's Papadeo. We are going to be doing the Cape Flattery Trail. I couldn't bring Bandit. No pets allowed up here. But uh, here's the beginning. This is the trailhead. And I'm excited. Here we go. Information booth. Didn't bring my walking stick. Uh-oh. Hope I don't need it. Nice, wide, easy to walk path. Probably won't. It's supposed to be about three quarters of a mile walk. <laughs> so we'll check in with you when we get there. Papa Dale, check it out! <laughs> well, this is what I call a hollow tree. <laughs> it's along the path on the way out to Cape Flattery Point. And, uh, you know, what's really sad is I tried to crawl inside of it. <laughs> But I'm too fat! <laughs> and we are at one of the view platforms at Cape Flattery. I don't think this is the farthest one west, but uh, there's a bay right down there that is just absolutely gorgeous which is why I'm sure they built this viewing platform. Let's, let's zoom in over there and take a little closer look. My word, what a beautiful, beautiful place. It's just uh, astounding. Looks like the tide is on the way out. Because of the rain and the drizzle, I almost didn't come today. Figured maybe I'd save it for another day. I'm so glad I came. Can't really see that far out into the distance across the Pacific. And it's kind of on the gray side. But what we can see is just absolutely stupendous. We got some nice tide pools down there too that probably never get explored. So how are you going to get to them? You're going to have to going to have to do it by boat. 
and these rocky islands here. Has a human being ever been to the top of either one of those? Wow. Stupefying. There's another viewing platform out here. And it is the westernmost point in the United States. Wow, that was tough. See here? Look at that sign right there. Can you read that? I hope so. My, 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 my. That is Tattoo Island. And it's farther west than where we are right now. However, it is an island. It is not attached to the mainland of the United States. Let's get the telephoto lens out. Well, once again, we're having to compete against the drizzle, which occasionally turns to a little soft rain. Some more wondrous caves over here. But I do believe that this is the very tip of Cape Flattery, which makes it the westernmost point of the continental United States. Sorry for the raindrops on the lens, not a lot I can do about that. And Japan's over there somewhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look what we have here. The drizzle is really starting to come down. I can't keep my camera out in it too long. But look at this gigantic cave right here. That, that's just an amazing thing. Never seen anything like that in my entire life. Wowie zowie. The caves in here are just amazing.
Hi friends, it's Papa Dale here and I just stopped at this scenic overlook on the road headed to Shy Shy Beach Trailhead. Shy Shy Beach is spelled S-H-I S-H-I so one might think that it was pronounced Shishi but if you pronounce it that way, the locals will all know that you're not from around here. It's Shy Shy. But this is an absolutely gorgeous beach right here. I don't know the name of it. I will try to find out and put it in the uh, subtitle area. But what a beautiful, clean looking, sandy beach. Not rocky, sandy could rival any of the California beaches as far as I'm concerned of course it's not as warm as California but uh, anyway look out there I saw people at the RV park where I was camped last night had a number of them with wetsuits so I presume that they are coming out to rock formations like these or other places that they know of and scuba diving or skin diving What a great, wonderful, beautiful serendipity here at this uh, unnamed beach. Well, just now, friends, we had a huge flock of seagulls fly in and land on the beach. I was sure wishing that I had my video running when they were still in the air because they looked like a cloud of seagulls. It was, it was just really a sight. 